Good morning, sons and daughters of the Most High. This is your brother, Chukemeka. Brothers and sisters, a few days ago, I think it was last week, I did a video on the Hebrew calendar for the hidden year 2018. And in that video, I mentioned that the new year will be on March 18th. That's the new year. And this calendar was adopted based on we going to our village, our Igbo village, asking our elders, when will the year start? They told us that the new months of the year will start with the moon that is coming. And we used the book of Enoch, calculated the first 30 days before that moon shows up. And we got a new year. And since then, we've been using it to estimate the calendar. Now, if uh, just yesterday, my friend sent me this link. Um, it's, um, it's a link from an Indian website. I think it's, um, it says uh, new, newsweek.ind or something. But it says that a massive magnetic storm to hit the earth this week. That's what the link said. And the funny thing is that it says that the magnetic storm will hit the earth on March 18th. Brothers and sisters, March 18th is the new year from the Hebrew calendar. I pre I, an individual I did uh, almost two weeks ago. That was March 18th. And that same year is when, uh, that same day is when this uh, Russian scientist are predicting um, some kind of solar activity. Now, this is significant because if you remember the book of Olao de Kono, Olao de Kono stated in his book that we Igbos, we calculate our year on the day the sun crosses the line. There is a solar activity that marks the first day of the year. That's when we how we calculate it in Igbo land. Do you think it's a coincidence that the day we from the Igbo village that we have, that we calculate our calendar, that is the day that scientists in Russia and anywhere else is predicting some kind of solar activity? Do you think that's a coincidence? In Igbo land, they said what a child needs to climb a tree to see. An elder has seen it sitting down. You see, unfortunately, we don't have telescope. We don't have gi all this giant telescope or whatever. We don't have satellite. But that does not mean we don't see. Because the creation of the Most High has been passed down to us. And that's why I keep encouraging people, go back to your tradition. Your tradition is not as odds with today's technology or whatever. There are so many things our ancestors knew that we are allowing to get lost with the death of those who know them. If we go back and ask questions in our villages, you see this. What are the odds that on the day the sun crosses the line, the day we Igbo know as the beginning of the year, that is the same day when the scientists in Russia are estimating a solar activity. What are the odds? Just because our ancestors do not have telescope and, and what a kaleidoscope or whatever, does not mean that they are, were ignorant of natural activities. And it would behoove us to go and find out these things they know and adopt it to the modern way of life. That is the challenge of our generation. Now, um, the article goes on to say that um, the solar storm will hit and then it can injure, kill people. Well, that is just nonsense. Brothers and sisters, I, in my v last video when I talked about the, the book of Revelation, I said, we are clothed by the sun. The sun was not designed to harm you. Maybe those who are not clothed, clothed by the sun should worry about it. But children of the Most High, we have nothing to worry about. But more importantly, this article kind of gives credence to the validity of the calendar we've sent out. It also gives credence to what we are doing here, the information we're passing to you here. Most people will think we're joking. We're not joking about it. Um, also, do you think it's a coincidence that um, the New Year is on the 18th and the uh, Feast of Passover is on the 31st and up to the April 1st morning? And do you think it's a coincidence that that's the same year that the pagans are celebrating Easter? It's not a coincidence. Like I explained in, in some of my videos in the past, when you have a cyclical calendar and a linear calendar, it's like a tangent where a straight line touches a cycle. The cyclical calendar is the biblical calendar, and the linear calendar is the Gregorian hidden calendar. There will be a time when they will rhyme, and there will be a time when they will not. There will be a time when they will touch each other, or they will be in sync, and there will be a time when they, they will not be. And this year is a year when 
everything is in sync. Not only are you seeing solar activity on the new year, you're seeing the hidden celebrating Easter or Easter on the on the same day when we are supposed to be celebrating the Passover. And you will see it keep going like that. It will even rhyme with some Muslim celebrations in the year. Some Hebrew feast will rhyme with some Muslim celebrations in the year. It happened last year. So this is is not it, it kind of gives credence in my view to this calendar. It may not give credence to you, and that, that's fine. But more importantly, let me use this opportunity to call each and every one of us, the Igbo people, you, you go back to your tradition. I'm hoping that when we do this, when people begin to go to their women and to their villages, ask questions, document our history, our knowledge, the knowledge of our people, of our fathers, people will come up with something better than what I have here. And I believe that when people begin to ask this question, they will even come up with something much, much better than what I have to offer you. But it will not happen if we stay away from it. This knowledge will be lost and it will be lost forever. If we go out there and ask the question, we will be able to retain this knowledge and be useful to us. Let me tell you a story. I met a man last year and he told me that when he was, this man is like maybe 60 something years old. He told me that when he was like 12, his mother, his auntie used to be a DPA, a native doctor. And she, there were some herbs in their village where she used to, if someone could not give birth, he would go and pluck, he would go with the auntie to pluck that herb to cook for the person, and the person will have a child. But today, that knowledge is gone. The auntie is dead. He does not know that herb. He usually go with her, but he doesn't know what plant it is. That knowledge is gone. Nobody knows now. And the man has a relation that is desperately looking for a child, and he can't help. He was telling me this in agony. In one of the villages I went to do some research last year, he was telling me this in agony. That knowledge is gone. These are the kind of things we are le leaving behind. The, now, the relative of the man that's looking for a child is left at the mercy of some fertility clinic that will keep giving them nonsense. This is a knowledge that we used to have and it's gone. That's why I'm encouraging each and every one of you. Go back to your tradition. That is where the Bible is. Stop messing around and do whatever you're doing. We are at a critical time, desperate times, call for desperate measure. This is critical. May the most I bless you. Salam.